What's going on, Aries gang? It's your girl, Drea, and this is the Owl's Intuition. If you're new here, hit the little subscribe button over there down in the corner and hit the little bell so you get notified every single time that I post. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know. If, if this resonates, give me a thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? Um, comment down below. Let me know, because whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Shout out to your other piles. Connect make friends i don't know <laughs> do what you want <laughs> anyway today we're doing a pick a card slash pick a random item <laughs> and uh i don't really know what's gonna come out in these messages at all it's just whatever source felt needed to come out for you um as always, only take what resonates and leave what does not. But this is for all my Aries. Or if you're a cross watcher, this, this is for you too. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is for Aries. That is my intention. Doesn't matter if you what astrology you believe in, it's going to resonate for you. Okay? All right. All right. What's up? Pick your pile. This is pile number one. This is pile number two. And this is pile number three. Okay? Pile number one is the East. Coast Hydro, right? You remember this one? I don't know if you've seen it. You probably didn't. If you're new, <laughs> yeah. And then we have this random um, fortune cookie, which isn't focusing. Anyway, but it says all the little things will add to a happy journey. I don't know why it's not focusing. Are you okay, camera? <laughs> And last but not least, pile three, it's the munchies. Cheers. Munchies. <laughs> How would you really say that? Munchies. All right, I don't know. So take a minute, intuitively pick your pile one, two, or three, and then go down below and check out the timestamps. And if you want a personal reading, just, you know, email me. That email is in the description description box below that's all i gotta say i'll see you in your reading bye what's going on aries gang yo you <laughs> yo you picked pile number one i just love aries because i'm an aries shout out to you so you guys picked east coast hydro get all this smoke whoa speaking of can we take a minute to just look at this picture real quick? You see how chaotic it is, right? We got this Venus flytrap looking mother, okay? With these other little babies, offspring. They don't look red. And I feel like anger is the red, right? And then they're just green, innocent, untouched by... I'm over here. I'm just looking at it over here. I don't like with it. <laughs> untouched by the ego let's say red is the ego and green is the heart space so what i'm getting right now in this situation because look at all these creatures right they're fighting the ego they're trying to fight the ego but these this little yellow boy over here he's like i can't do this so this is really about you not giving up on yourself due to your ego i feel like your ego is pushing you and telling you you can't do this it would have already happened or blah 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 some type of limiting belief that you have I didn't yo can I get a ding <laughs> we just went straight for the jugular <laughs> but um yeah so that's that's pretty much what's happening right now you guys have some type of ego death that's gonna happen or you might be going through the ego death right now but it has to do with you choosing what you love. It has to do with you not trying to force things, not trying to control everything, and actually just choosing the path of least resistance, the path that is made for you, the path for your highest good, right? Because you have this card, which is the Page of Pentacles, right? 
This messenger is here to tell you that the job searches and opportunities are favored. Ooh, we love that. What's going on? Okay. Make sure you're using hands-on methodical a hands-on methodical approach to any business situation practicality is the key to your productivity the quality of your work is also the utmost importance all right guys so whatever you're working on your ego is telling you that you would have already been successful if it was meant to work out. Your ego is telling you to move on to a different project. Your ego is telling you everyone's going to judge you. Your ego is telling you you need to worry about what everyone else is thinking. In reality, you just need to do you. In reality, you just need to do what makes your heart happy. I don't know what this is in regards to. We'll find out more in the tarot, but whatever it is, I feel like it's a business. It has to do with your awakening, guys. You guys are awakening to choosing yourself in regards to your career path or like your beliefs. I feel like there was beliefs that you got imposed on when you were a child and by you know certain people around you or you know anything social media it doesn't matter there's so many influences that happen nowadays it's like you could get influenced by anything which is why you really need to focus on clearing your feed and really maintaining awareness about what you're intaking like in regards to music in regards to gossip because you know sometimes you might <laughs> dabble in a little too much gossip and that draws in and I just saw five 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 that draws in some negativity into your life you know what i'm saying we don't like that <laughs> but i don't really know what this message is so we're gonna get more into this so what else do you want us to know source let's get some Jero! oh well we got the two of cups interesting what's that about <laughs> Hello Aries. So this is does this have to do with a a relationship? <laughs> we got temperance. Mm. Okay. The tea baby. Spill the tea. I feel like there was gossip or something. Or something like maybe you're worried about gossip. I don't know. But if you are I suggest that you not worry because what really matters is you building yourself up and focusing on yourself and your heart and what makes you happy and your loved ones around you and building up your stability, whatever that is for you. Stability is just, it doesn't have to be like you just, you're just free, okay? It doesn't mean you have to have millions of dollars and shit like that, okay? Just keep that in mind. Everyone's dream life is going to be different. You want to manifest your dream life. Me, for me, I love peace. I want peace, baby. I want peace. <laughs> I love peace. Okay, let's get more. We got the Queen of Swords. So we got some air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also have Sagittarius. Interesting. It's some war, baby. I don't know what's happening here, but there's people involved. People involved. We got the three of pentacles. It's good to be co-workers as well. Because this is relationships. Some of you guys, it could be a love interest, but also it could be friends, family, and co-workers. Maybe it's like you're worried about the beliefs of certain people around you. <clears throat> this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or whoever. And, um... We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Interesting. Bottom of the deck is the Two of Swords in reverse. Okay. Maybe I should get some Oracle cards to get some more clarity on this situation. What else can you tell me? Manifest your dreams. Focus on your vision. We got a 2-2. Two, two. Look at this. There's a family. You guys want to have like a family, a happy, peaceful life with you and your family. That's beautiful. Seek satisfaction and contentment. Yeah, like I was saying, peace. Oh, you guys are my vibe. I love it. Hello, Aries gang. <laughs> Happiness, baby. You guys are unicorns, too. 
And look at, oh, freedom. I was just talking about freedom, right? All right, we have 12, which reduces to a 3, 3, 3, 3. Um, the freedom of truth. Communicate honestly. Be who you truly are. Yeah, this is about you being your true self and not doing what anyone else is wanting you to do. I feel like there are certain people that you have like this responsibility to or you this uh, you feel obligated to be in a certain way and we have open to abundance believe you deserve accept plenty and prosperity prosperity <laughs> guys we still have the ten of pentacles you guys are very abundant and you have a lot of abundance coming to you okay i want you guys to know that you already know that because you're trying to manifest it <laughs> And it's coming. So this is reassurance. This is confirmation. If you were like doubting your manifestation or doubting you were going to get this situation, whether it's wealth, whether it's that job, remember? Because we had, oh, wow, this is what this is. It's making sense now. Okay. <laughs> this is great news. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so great. So if you were trying to get a job, trying to get a relationship, like some offer from somebody, maybe commitment, okay. <laughs> what you wanted is coming, whether it's communication in regards to the relationship, someone is going to communicate. Um, because I feel like there was an opportunity that was missed. If it was a job, you didn't get a certain job. Um, but at the end of the day, you know what you wanted, right? You know what you want. We have the lovers too. Wow. A lot of you, it's the relationship, like I was saying. You know what you want. At the end of the day, you want to build a life that is beautiful. With beautiful people, a beautiful community, beautiful family, traveling, abundance, learning new things daily. That's what you want. And it's coming. And this is the universe telling you that it's coming. Oh, this is beautiful, guys. And happy birthday if you're watching this when I'm dropping this during every season. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. But anyway, um, let me continue. You guys have to just trust. And this is an eight. Life path eight. Um, abundance is coming. You know what you want. It is coming. You might not see it right now, but it is coming. Just maintain um, awareness of your emotions. Focus on feeling good right now so that you can open up, up more opportunities. Because again, if you're feeling bad, you're going to manifest more things that are going to make you feel bad. But if you're feeling happy and joyful and free and you're trusting in the universe, then you're going to disrupt those limiting beliefs that others tried to instill in you. And you're going to go beast mode on your, your dreams and your goals. And you're going to be confident in everything and take action towards what you want. And it's going to succeed, okay? And don't care how many times you might have failed in the past. If it was relationships, you had failed relationships. That doesn't mean that you can't find your person, okay? You have your person coming, okay? If you failed at a job opportunity or you got fired or, you know, you lost in an in investment and that doesn't mean that you can't start this new startup or you can't apply this new idea or try to create something new because this could be just an endeavor too that you might have failed at and then you have new opportunities to restart that, okay? You know what you want at the end of the day. You just have to take a different route than what you were trying to do in the beginning, okay? Ooh, wow, I love that. This is beautiful, guys. Wow, all right. Your dreams are coming. The abundance is coming. The freedom is coming. The communication is coming. Some of you guys might be getting an apology because the Page of Pentacles does represent someone apologizing as well. Because if you guys had a fight with somebody or whatever, I don't know. But I am getting, like, some of you guys, this is, like, a lover or, like, some type of situation shit that you, you know... You might have wanted and it's coming back. But obviously just take that as it resonates. <laughs> okay. We're going to top it off with some guidance from the Oracle of the Seven Energies. What's the guidance from my pound number one Aries game? Or whoever is watching still. <laughs> if we got some cross watchers. Ooh, 
wasn't I talking about power? Of course. A powerful move. Wow. 15. Reduces to a 6. Again, the lover's card. Oh. Oh, my. <laughs> okay. Action. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Like, it's like you you had the key all along, and your key was your belief in yourself. You, to to just take it, like, I'm gonna, like, I'm like a bird. Like, not, um, I'm like a bird. What's that song? It's like, hold on. Oh, why can't I remember it? All I know is it has to do with, like, flying. Okay? I believe I can fly. Yeah. I believe I can touch the sky. Ah. I believe you believe I believe <laughs> okay you gotta believe to achieve and um you know what you want you just have to choose a different strategy and not give up on yourself learn as you go and you'll get better every single time okay don't give up on this because you're gonna make it this is gonna manifest abundance I don't care what it is this is something that you have been wanting for a while I feel like it's multiple things for you guys so Happy birthday. <laughs> All right. A powerful move. Action. Movement with purpose. Effort. Putting into motion your intention. Making choices from an empowered and thoughtful place. Positive change. Oof. The time for rest is over. Change is in the air. This is a powerful time when deliberate action is needed to move your intentions out of the realm of thought and into the material. From ideas into action. How do you approach your relationship in the invisible world as it influences the visible? Do you see the relationship? Do you recognize yourself as a unique whole and a worthy being of who who <laughs> has a special place in the world? Whose offerings are valuable? And whose life has meaning you are a mighty co-creator so step into that power and see your intentions manifest in the world oh my god guys are you serious i can't okay <laughs> real positive change is possible when you make choices from an authentic sense of self mm -hmm. those limiting beliefs let them go <laughs> i don't care what anyone else thinks just do what makes you happy baby okay and take a conscious step towards your dreams to take steps towards your intended expectation experience sorry start first with the way you think let curiosity be the focus now and display a willingness to discover new things instead of confirming your past expectations mm -hmm. be open be clear about your motives and desires and set your intention then step into the magic just waiting for you to claim it Traveling, moving, flowing, flying, whatever describes changes in your life, know that these are called for now. Act with thoughtfulness and awareness and remember to be true to yourself. Wow, this is really beautiful. What is called for now? Doing the thing that needs to be done. All will be better than well. What an exciting time indeed. <sighs> Guys, all I'm saying is... It's time to take action on that thing that you have been putting off due to things that you might have gone through in your past. Let that go. Like, it doesn't matter. It Clean slate, baby. This is a clean slate, a new fresh start, and it's going to be amazing, okay? But it's your girl, Drea, and this is the Alice Intuition. I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, Aries. What's going on, pile number two? Aries gang, it's your girl, Drea, and this is the Alice Intuition. You already know. <clears throat> if you don't know, I'm an Aries. Hello, welcome. If you're new here, hit the little subscribe button over here down below and hit the little bell so you get notified every single time that I post. And um, if this resonates, comment down below. Let me know. Communicate with your fellow Pow 2 Aries gang, okay? But you guys picked this fortune cookie. Well, this fortune from this fortune cookie I had. <laughs> I don't know when. Someday. Maybe I gotta like put my hand in. All the little things will add to a happy journey. <clears throat> so, I feel like maybe you guys have been a little stressed about your future. You're like, 
I don't know where I am. I don't know, like, where I am. <laughs> you know you're on Earth, right? But, like, I don't know where I'm meant to go. I don't know um what my path is. Am I doing the right thing? <clears throat> Are you happy is the question. Are you happy? Doing the little thing, spending time with people you love, and just enjoying every moment, moment by moment, is what will bring you happiness, is what will make your journey happy. So, <clears throat> and I just saw 222, two, two, so that means don't worry, everything is going to be okay. Sometimes we start stressing about the future, but you just need to focus on what you can do now, and just find peace in this moment, and take a little breath. Can we get a ding? I feel like we need a ding. No, hold on. Hold wait a minute yeah <laughs> that's a nice one <clears throat> okay so your card is temperance right what energies in your life require changing who is trying to throw off throw you off balance while you can go with the flow please examine what needs to be altered don't answer one way or another just yet temperate responses change <clears throat> excuse me critics to collaborators keep calm think before answering okay guys <laughs> what's going on here huh is this a spiritual awakening it's like it's like this right the journey of life is about figuring out what steps to take that make you happy I know we all have responsibilities right but when you go with the flow and you just, you get your things done, right? But you find joy in every step. Find joy in your workouts, right? You gotta work out every day. Why not make it fun? Make it a joyous way. Whether that's hiking or kickboxing or doing it differently, right? <clears throat> Say you meditate. Find a different way to meditate. Right? Today I did, um, I watched this YouTube video and it was, um, I don't know. It's like when you move your chi, I don't know, but he was like this monk guy and I don't, I just, woo, when I did it, I only did half of it, um, because I'm going to start like, you know, just trying new things and stuff. So I was like, I gotta make this new taste real quick, you know? So I feel like that's this vibe right now. Okay. But <clears throat> I feel like this is what's happening all right you have to start trying new things okay i feel like you guys want something different you're bored okay wake up <laughs> it's time to start trying new things what lights you up what makes you happy you you intuitively know or if not ch channel your inner child or what really makes you happy you really have to start trying new things exploring meeting new people <clears throat> being open to these situations, right? Wow. Guys, I think you're just re... This is a rebirth for sure. But I feel like you really need to focus on balancing fun in your life. Fun and your responsibilities. Like I said, making your responsibilities fun. Finding joy in the journey. Finding joy in the little things. We got Sagittarius and Taurus on the table because I just saw the king of pentacles but you guys are Aries <laughs> but you guys might know or resonate with that obviously this could be a cross watcher and this is your sign as well <laughs> could be who knows I don't know but let's get some more see what's going on <laughs> from a pound number two Aries we have the ace of wands in reverse Okay, we're going to get the cards out, <clears throat> and then we'll tell the story, okay? <laughs> Look at it, it's you, <laughs> Queen of Wands, and that is just um, an energy, okay? <laughs> I don't mean that you're a female. Look at me, mad crooked. It looks straight on the camera, but it's not straight over here, so it's so funny. <laughs> so weird. Anyway interesting how my perception is different than your perception right now but it is both of our perceptions are valid it doesn't even matter but you know what I mean <laughs> anyway interesting 
you also might be at an impasse with somebody <clears throat> in regards to your perception of healing a relationship for some of you. Some of you guys don't see the love in the situation, but this d person does love you. They are mesmerized by you and they want to offer you some love. I know that there was heartbreak or there was some type of pain because of some flighty energy, but they want to relieve the stress of this injustice that happened between you two and they're making the decision they already know what they want and they're sick and tired of being bored and they have the clarity they need to you know fight for what they want and heal the situation that was a random message for whoever needed it <laughs> i don't really know but um <laughs> let's get some more we have the ace of cups <laughs> okay that was interesting I love when random ass messages just come. I mean, I have no intentions, but it's just funny. It's, you know, you know. We got the King of Swords in reverse. Look at him. So mad. What you mad for, bro? Sis? Somebody was mad. <clears throat> Alright, I need one more. <laughs> Okay, there it is. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. I just gotta move all these down because I'm gonna get the oracle cards out. Bottom of the deck is the Six of Cups in reverse. There's some denial of a truth that has to do with a soul. A soul connection. Yeah, the soul connection is a catalyst to your transformation, for sure. Um, it's going to help you to <clears throat> shift your perspective from egoic to more heart-based vibes. That's what I'm feeling. Okay, let me get some oracle cards, too. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Oh, here's some more. We have Divine Potential. I have never seen this card. Let's see. Fulfill your destiny. Be all you can be. Oh my god, look at this scroll. Beautiful. Happiness. A lot of heart. Look at what I was saying. The heart chakra, right? But also solar plexus. You know, you Aries are very motivated. <laughs> Us Aries. You're an Aries. We're all an Aries. Ooh. Look at this. A bin, open, open, open to abundance. Believe you deserve, accept plenty and prosperity. Wow. What's going on, guys? What's going on, guys? Hmm? What happened to the six of. Them? Oh. Okay. And it says, I am presence. Wow. Look at that. Expand your stellar. Gateway four four. Oof. <sighs> Whoa, I feel some big ass energy. Holy crap, guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. <clears throat> All right. So There's some type of dishonesty about, like, a perspective you have. I feel like... It has to do with I am and your potential. And it's blocking your abundance. It's like you're not changing, right? You want change because you're unfulfilled about something right now, right? You want more happiness. And I saw 1111. You're making wishes every day. You want to manifest new things, right? You want change, right? Because the death is about transformation, change. What's up, Scorpio? <laughs> and then we have the Queen of Wands. Motivated. Motivated. And motivator, you know? Go-getter, right? You are just... You 
were just trying to find out what fulfills you. And that's why in the beginning of this, it's about finding out what you love to do, trying new things, right? You're bored because you're sick of doing the same old, same old that you have been doing. It's time to expand your mental. I am. What are you? You can be anything or do anything that you want. What have you always wanted to do? I always wanted to be a race car driver and I plan on, not really, well, I wanted to be a race car driver, right? But I set a goal in my mind and I will do it and you guys will know <laughs> um, that I'm going to rent out a race car or like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to find a way and I'm going to get on a racetrack and fucking drive a race car. That is my goal. And it's like... <clears throat> <laughs> but that's just one of my goals but it's like you guys have a divine potential like you know and you have some type of goal that it's just like you have to believe in it it's what you love it's a part of your soul and you're denying it because you don't believe that you can do it you don't believe that you can get it but in all honesty you can and this thing also could bring you abundance or it has to do with bringing in abundance it's like maybe you're just denying the abundance that you rightfully deserved due to things that might have happened in the past, right? Mahatma energy. Wow, that's beautiful. Build your light body, accelerate your ascension. The thing is, in order to gain more in this physical realm, right, you have to find peace in the now and surrender to the moment. Stop chasing things. Like, you think that you're going to feel better because you have a nicer car or more money and people always think like oh yeah money does buy happiness like no <laughs> happiness happiness <laughs> happiness will bring you money when you need it because the thing that you really use money for is experiences or to do what you love or get what you love right that situation won't always be there like you could buy this new phone but then you're gonna be chasing the next new phone and the next new phone and you'll feel a hole every single time thinking that you're gonna fill it by getting the next new phone and you still feel the same if that makes sense you know what i'm saying and it's like <clears throat> i'm just gonna keep my old phone because it does perfectly fine and my heart is fulfilled and my phone doesn't define who i am my outer realm my my 3D does not define my inner being, right? So you guys have to understand that you are truly divine and you are truly powerful and you are able to manifest all that you want and that you love and you can and you will. But it's about your belief in yourself and you really seeing your true potential because you are a master manifester. You are abundant and you are a stable, caring, loving person. You are also very intuitive and you need to start following your guidance and saying your affirmations and being kinder to yourself because i feel like you guys are a little mean to yourself and that's why you need to focus on happiness way more so we're gonna get a card from the oracle of the seven energies as some guidance and then i will close you out <laughs> what guidance do we have for pound number two aries aries gang look at this oh you guys got two? Wow. You guys are special for pile two. Two for pile two, guys. <laughs> okay, you guys have a burst of magic. Look at how beautiful that is. The lotus. Oh, my God. And the smoke is in the shape of you, you beautiful being. Right? But the lotus grows out of the dirt and the mud, and it is such a beautiful thing to grow out. Like, that's the thing about nature they prove that the impossible is possible always and forever and they will continue to do that and why do we continue to doubt that and yet we still make things impossible like people said that to fly a plane or to you know like have a car would be impossible and yet people are creating new things every day and discovering new things and i always thought and still will continue to think that anything is possible if you can think it <laughs> And you may call me crazy, but the only way that it's possible is if you believe. <laughs> and uh, I've been making things possible because I believe. <laughs> That's the burst of magic that you need. But anyway, and we also have 41, a higher view, right? This is like about looking at a pers different perspective. Look at you over there. That just gives me Aries vibes. Intuitive Aries vibes. <clears throat> I'm going to read them both. Because they want me to, so hey. So, burst of magic. 
48. Hmm. An epiphany. A sudder, a sudder, a sudden higher. Okay, hold on. Ma, ma. If you know, you know. <laughs> An epiphany. A sudden higher knowing. A sense that everything has a purpose. Your purpose as a gift bestowed upon you. Cultivating consciousness, contact with a higher power, coming to know what calls to you and lights you up. Oh my god. That's literally about your heart is calling you towards what lights you up. You're getting this crown activation, this healing, and now you're discovering yourself. And now you're understanding that source has been calling you and sending these images. Of, and you have these desires for a reason. You're meant to. Whoa. Sometimes you may find that something you'd been pondering or a dilemma you'd let go of revisits you without warning. It may hit you while you're thinking about nothing or the trigger may just be the right words arising in a conversation, book, or blog. An epiphany strikes like a lightning bolt, waking you up to a truth that has previously eluded you. It's as if the whole world stops in that moment as you integrate the missing pieces of the puzzle you were meant to solve long ago. Hmm. This is such a time for you now. Answers are coming directly from source and being downloaded into you with such force and conviction that you cannot be the same again. Yo, I was saying transformation, bro. We had the death card. Oh my god. You guys are going through a transformation. You're going to start looking at the world so differently. This is beautiful. I love this for you. <laughs> okay. Be grateful for this beautiful burst of magic. It is not an everyday gift. Inherent in this is the knowledge that spirit is always listening to you. Spirit is your loving partner, reminding you that you are not alone. Even when it appears that you are trapped, you always have the key to unlock a solution if you cultivate the willingness to be open to and in tune with Source. Source is going to provide you with an answer to free you from situ so, uh, sorry, from a situation that you have been stressing about pretty soon. Just so you know. And I know that, like, some of you guys might not know what I'm talking about, but a lot of you guys probably know exactly what I'm talking about. And Source is reassuring you that you will be free from this situation soon. I'm going to provide you with the answer that you need for this. This is getting deep and heavy. Whoa. Oh my god. Anyway, when the answers you seek come to you when you stop looking for them. Be mindful today. When information pops up out of the blue, pay attention. The action you need to take will become obvious as you integrate this magical wisdom. Regardless of the subject of your inquiry, you will be transformed. Only good will come of this. Oh my god, guys. I don't know what's happening or what this is, but this is amazing and it has to do with, you know, I think just rebalance in your life healing and just like a lot of downloads and, and i feel like an ego death is coming yo you guys are like leveling up for sure this is beautiful anyway because you're laying letting go of like something that blocked you a higher view hmm Seeing from a higher perspective, conscious neutrality, letting go of judgment and assumptions, non-attachment, the ability to remain unbiased. Yeah, so like, it's like, you're gonna start looking at for like, the fact that it is what it is. I'm not gonna attach myself to anything. I'm connected to everything, but attached to nothing, right? Like, no matter what the outcome is, I'm going to focus on the little things that make me happy. I'm going to focus on my happiness and my inner world, and I'm not gonna let the chaotic world around me dictate how I feel. You feel me? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> anyway, sometimes our lives are suction cupped to the ends of our noses and we can't see beyond ourselves. That's not funny to me, I don't know why. <laughs> this happens to everyone once in a while. We fall into the automatic response to life and we re react from a learned, conditioned place rather than one of awareness. Being in reactivity keeps us repeating old patterns. Controversially, con. All right, yeah. <laughs> Conversely, whatever. I can't. I just can't. Okay. <laughs> the avoidance of our triggers could keep us in our comfort zone, policing our attempts at new things. Oh, hold on. 
and we're back pile number two what's up aries gang okay guys so i don't know where i left off but i feel like i do okay <laughs> but i'm gonna leave over right here okay the way to be successful in your endeavors to connect with others is to step out of your sticky perception of the world so in order for you to connect, you have to stop looking at the world as if you can't connect to it. You know? Connected to everything and attached to nothing. I'm pretty sure I said this in this pile, but I'm not sure actually. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, imagine yourself sitting on the back of a bird a thousand feet above your life. Once your perspective change from a higher point of view, you can see for miles. You could let go of naming, blaming, obstacles in your way and instead discover a path to a more beautiful and compelling vista. More can become available to you in aspects of your life, <clears throat> excuse me, in all aspects of your life when you are able to step back and get a little bit of distance. Distance. <laughs> You can wait before responding. Be more graceful in your interactions and see how everything is connected and every experience is a gift. The world is wide open for you today. All you have to do is move to a higher ground, be mindful, and celebrate the spectacle of life's dance. Well, pile number two, Aries. Guys, <clears throat> I don't know what this thing is that you're doing, but it's going to change your life. You must not give up on it. Keep going. You have to change certain things that you're doing and make sure that you are not worrying and staying focused on the journey and enjoying it, okay? Because, yeah, you can keep checking goals off, right? But, like, what really matters is you enjoying reaching your goals, not getting the goal there because then you're going to end up just moving on to another goal, okay? It's just about enjoying every minute, every second, and being present, okay? But it's your girl, Drea, and this is the Owl's Intuition. I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. What's going on, my pile number threes? Last but not least, Aries gang, it's your girl, Drea, and this is the Owl's Intuition. All right. <clears throat> If you didn't know, now you know, I'm an Aries. <laughs> what's up? So, I don't know what's going to come out. We're just going to go with the flow and see what Source wants to let you know. Oh my god. <laughs> it's been a rocky ride, hasn't it? Maybe your emotions have been all over the place. I feel that, baby. I feel that. So, <clears throat> you picked Munchies. Or munchies. I can never get this to focus the way I want it to unless I go like this. Oh, um, maybe I didn't hit the actual focus. That's why. <laughs> yeah, munchies. It makes me think of like Chabra. Like, yeah, surfing. <clears throat> so, water, a lot of emotions. And learning to go with the flow and surrendering to the fact that you have a lot of emotions going on right now. And all you really have to understand is that <clears throat> you are not your emotions. You are the observer of your emotions, okay? We got the Ten of Pentacles. Holy crap, holy guys. Wow. <clears throat> so it says, there's no need to worry about finances right now. Expect the money to show up. Your bank account may get a bump from a promotion or an offer to get a better job. Invest for a long term as well. Think about how you can create a stable financial future and keep prosperity flowing. What? <clears throat> okay, guys. Wow. A lot of abundance is coming, right? A lot of abundance is coming for you guys. Oh my god. Because, alright, with the munchies, right, going with the flow, like, yeah, you're excited. Because you know, <clears throat> a lot of the things that you have been wishing for, hoping for, and dreaming for are finally coming to you. Stability after this hardship, after these injustices. 
that you have been experiencing recently. Let's see. We're going to get some more, but Source wanted you to know that money is coming. Okay? Stability is coming. And they want you to start investing in things that will bring you longevity. <clears throat> Whether that's investing into your new business, something that will give you a residual income that will feed you and your family generations to come. You all, have, everyone has an idea that is capable of providing them with generational wealth. It's up to them to finding out that idea. Whoa! <laughs> and that starts with finding out what you love, right? <sighs> Do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. <clears throat> we have all right, I'm gonna turn this a little down because it's a little bright <laughs> we have the princess of wands it's still bright but it's okay princess of wands <clears throat> I don't know why but with this princess of wands I'm getting this show Emily Emily in Paris. <laughs> and she's just this girl and she ends up going and moving to Paris for her job and then she's failing and then she ends up like succeeding and then failing again and succeeding and it's just waves of amazing happiness and then destruction, despair, and it's just like an emotional roller coaster. And I feel like that's exactly what's happening right now. I don't know in regards to what. <clears throat> It could have to do with your family, your job, um, a significant other. But all I know is that they, there's been this emotional roller coaster going on. And I feel like it has to do with the lover, but I feel like Source is really calling for you. We have the judgment in reverse. <clears throat> to open up your eyes to the fact that. This emotional roller coaster, this seductive energy that <clears throat> you're getting seduced by. I'm sorry, I need to take a little, a little sippy sip real quick of some water. <laughs> I hit my pen and now I'm just like, <clears throat> you know. I mean, what are you going to do? <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so you need to wake up to the fact that this emotional roller coaster is not satisfying you anymore. It's not making you happy anymore. And <clears throat> it's no longer going to provide you with something that will bring you happiness, stability, and abundance longevity-wise. You know what I'm saying? It's like something is blocking you from getting this Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> so what you need to do is find what you're passionate about. Figure that out and start doing that. You know, doing what you love. And then figuring out how to make an income from that, right? Longevity wise. That financial freedom. Awakening to your true gifts, your true abilities. Creating an opportunity for yourself instead of just depending on everyone else. Going your own path. Like, <clears throat> I'm getting like, I'm seeing that movie, um, what is that movie? Hilary Duff's in it and that other guy and uh, it's like a Cinderella story or something like that. And the guy, the cute guy, the blonde guy or whatever, <clears throat> Prince Charming. He's lying to his dad because his dad wants him to go to college and play football, but he has a whole nother dream to do something else. And he's trying to, you know, his dad's pretty much forcing him. Like, this is the way, this is the way it's always been, and this is the way it's gonna be. And instead, well, what was that? <laughs> instead, you know, he ended up choosing what made him happy the most. And, um,. That happens a lot in life and not everyone chooses their happiness and we have to learn from people in the past you know a lot of movies have a lot of lessons <clears throat> I must say 
but you have n you have not missed any opportunities because you can create new opportunities. I don't know if you feel like you might have missed an opportunity, but there's always another path, and you will find it. You just have to believe that you'll be able to find it, right? <clears throat> so what do you need to really start doing? Is you really need to decide to start planning. To start taking <clears throat> small little steps. Taking it day by day, right? The audio I was listening to, they were talking about doing what you love. And um, when you're creating this big, huge... <clears throat> oh my goodness. It's like extra with your group right now. So I do feel like you guys probably need to speak your truth to somebody. <clears throat> but anyway. Maybe to a loved one, a lover. What's this truth that they need to speak? <laughs> I'm nosy. Let's see. <clears throat> maybe it's an apology. Or maybe someone is going to speak their truth to you. Ooh, and it's a part of the destiny. The destiny. What's this destiny? It's good luck. What fortune is coming? Ooh, okay. <clears throat> so, whatever truth that you speak or whatever truth that comes forward to you is going to set you free from a bondage that you have had to some type of negativity and it's going to give you mental clarity. So, if you're honest and tell whoever or whatever the truth about what you really want or how you really feel, it will solve everything for you. <laughs> okay? <clears throat> that is guidance. <laughs> Anyway, let's get some more. All over the place, huh? All over the place. Let's see what's happening here. What is this card? Alright, we have the Emperor. <laughs> That's you, Aries. <laughs> Bam, why am I not surprised? We got the Emperor. We also have Scorpio because of judgment. <clears throat> and a good amount of Earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Cups. Dude, what? Alright. So. I know you've been through a lot emotionally. Um, so it kind of tore you down. I feel like a lot of people have talked a lot of trash towards you. Made you feel like you were not worthy. Or just like there's certain things from your childhood. Or just like. Even if it was low, like little jokes or whatever, I don't know what it was, but there's things that have been said to you that have stuck with you <clears throat> for quite some time, and it's time for you to let it go. That is your ego holding on to that. What one person says or does or thinks towards you has nothing to do with your inner world. You are a part of Source. Everyone is a part of Source, and deep down, we are all everything and nothing all at the same time if that makes sense it's like we are creation but also we just go back to non-creation to the abyss and <clears throat> you know instead of dwelling on little petty things throughout the day um focus on you know rebalancing and recalibrating your life like stop getting upset over little things when you catch yourself getting upset try to find peace in the situation push past that push past it and stand in your power and regain control of your emotions decide to be like you know what i'm gonna let go of this because i choose peace i'm gonna let go of this because i choose to not feel upset i choose my destiny I choose abundance I choose to go after my goals and my wishes and desires and bring them to reality I choose to travel the world I choose to explore new lovers <clears throat> I choose to find different pathways to make an income I choose to be independent and start my own journey I choose to think outside of the box and not expect to get anything handed to me, but to create my own path. I choose to be the leader that I know I am and step up and create my destiny and put my crown on and show everybody who I am <clears throat> by just being me in a humble way. 
I don't need to gloat because I know who I am. I know I am source and I am connected to everything but also attached to nothing. I know that I am equal. We are all equal and I know we all have the same gifts, right? You know this. Oof, I am that I am present. I am that I am. I am blessed. I am beautiful and I am powerful. I am a co-creator. <clears throat> All right, they want that to come out. All right, <laughs> just so you know. Um, you know, but you are very connected to Source. We have the Ascension Lift and it says prepare for rapid spiritual growth be ready for opportunities yeah so you guys are ascending <clears throat> you're going to be seeing and receiving a lot of messages your heart is opening so be aware that you're going through a lot of things right now that are causing you to purge do not fight this awakening just ask yourself what you're learning through this situation if you're going through some anger or frustration why are you really upset do you really have to be upset actually don't even question that just sit back and observe yourself because that's your mind that's your ego it's not even you you're the observer you witness your mind shooting things off okay so <clears throat> it's really up to you to just watch it and then just relax into it and just Observe, because you are not your feelings, you are not your thoughts. Look at this. We have, open your heart, <laughs> love yourself, dare to be vulnerable. You guys are going to have to be vulnerable in a situation that is coming. I just feel like there is love coming towards you. <sighs> Stability. <clears throat> and it, it could just be self-love, but there is... An opportunity that you are going to create yourself, but only once you start to step into this spiritual growth and start to let your mind choose happiness, you know? Happiness is a state of mind and a state of being, and you can choose peace instead of choosing to fight with people, instead of choosing to be all over the place and emotional. It's time to analyze those emotions, be like, why am I still holding on to this and letting it go, clearing that out, doing a purge. <clears throat> that's the dark night of the soul baby it's not easy but you go through it and you go through multiple times it multiple times okay and um you always come out of it stronger more wise more grounded and more peaceful and less egoic and you start to realize that you need less to be happier less is more <laughs> and that's so true and it's crazy <clears throat> but you guys do need to make sure that you keep yourself humble and um Really don't become too attached to your emotions and start to focus on your happy emotions, okay? Focus on bliss, focus on abundance, focus on healing and opening your heart. What was the bottom of the deck? Look at this. Are you kidding me? Stand in your power. Be passionate about your wisdom and bring about positive change. And look at, hold on, there's another one. Be a beacon, that's you, you're a beacon. Be an inspiration and light the way for others. Yeah, you're going to inspire a lot of people <clears throat> with whatever it is that you're building up or you're doing because you're doing something great. I don't know what it is. But let's get some more Aries gang. I'm not surprised. You're an Aries. Hello, my go-getters. Okay. What's the guidance for pile number three? Aries. <gasps> eight into me i see it's time for you to take a real look at yourself into the true essence of yourself they want you to not <clears throat> base your worth on your outer reality understand that your true worth is through your heart you don't need to base your worth on what kind of shoes you have what car you drive that does not define who you are in essence you are the same as a tree in essence you are the same as the ocean as the stars you're the same as everything and everything is you know here in the 3d and then it decomposes and gets transmuted into something else as you will when you pass on and transition into your next phase. Whew, some deep stuff, guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway, <clears throat> we also have roots of abundance. Can can I can this? Are you serious? 
You guys got some money coming. You guys are abundant, baby. Okay. So let's read. What's popping? Yeah. Okay. Make sure you guys set um, <clears throat> boundaries in regards to um, getting take advantage of. Because you guys are going to have a lot of abundance. And some people might see that. And um, they just may want to involve themselves in your energy to deplete you of what you have so just be aware of that and <clears throat> use your discernment in regards to who you allow in your life okay so into me i see intimacy trust in another dropping shields and rigid boundaries to allow connection the willingness to be vulnerable Ooh. At certain precious moments, you are called into a deep and meaningful connection with the world or another person. A magical affinity arises with the kind of intimacy that in turn encourages a greater understanding of yourself. The relationship acts as a mirror, helping you to see your own patterns. <clears throat> yeah, so if there's like a relationship or somebody else involved in this situation, they are reflecting certain things that you needed to see about yourself. And this is what's going to break you down so you can have a breakthrough and start to release that. That's beautiful. <laughs> what it reflects about you can further your own personal evolution. Now is the time to take a risk by connecting with another. Ooh. So yeah, there was the Knight of Cups. So somebody's going to come forward and this person is going to help you in a, regards to your spiritual growth and in regards to building up your stability and your legacy. So open your heart up to that. Oh, this is so beautiful. That's why we had open your heart for the other oracle cards. Because <sighs> you're going to heal your heart. Go through this dark night of the soul. And you're going to open this up. And this person's going to manifest. And you just have to be open to, you know, growing with this person. Rooting yourself into a new journey. A new path. A new um, level in <laughs> life, I guess you can say. Wow, this is some big energy. <clears throat> it's like you're creating a home. Some of you guys might be starting a, a family. Sorry if I'm rocking. Some of you guys, you know, might be, you know, starting a business with somebody. I don't know. This is like big moves, okay? <laughs> um, now is the time. Yeah. Can we, can you see how far you've come? Can you see what is still active within you that needs to change or heal? You will discover more about who you are as you discover more about another. Even if you cannot possibly know what it's truly like to be in someone else's shoes, you can listen and learn. This is the magical gift being offered to you right now. This concept applies beyond romantic connection. What do the dynamics of your closest friendships, work relationships, and family say about you? Relationships are extraordinary opportunities for healing. When predicted on honesty and caring they have a great impact on how you can contribute to the world intimate relationships hold up a mirror of truth and reveal more treasures than you might ever expect if you can look into it take a risk and see everything as beautiful even if it's imperfections imagine how deep you can go even in its imperfections oof so it's not even just about love it could just be about like anybody your child, your mother, your father, your best friend, your friends, your your coworkers. Every day <clears throat> is a new day and every day there's a lesson. Literally. Every day I go about my day and I literally see lessons all around me. And it's like I'm not even involved in them, but I'm learning by watching others' experiences. By being present, right? Because if I was in my head... And just thinking about, oh, I have to do this next Tuesday, or blah, 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 blah. And instead of paying attention to everything that's going on around me, which is funny because people are like, you're so observant, or like, how did you know about this or that? And it's like, because of the fact that, I don't know, I'm here in the present moment, so I'm literally aware of everything that's going on. And um, it's a blessing and a curse, because sometimes you just got to filter it out, you know what I'm saying? Because then if I hear some negativity, I just got to re... <laughs> realign and uh dissipate my attention towards that <laughs> you know actually i'm gonna read number two too because i forgot about that <laughs> roots of abundance being stabilized by deep roots anchoring yourself and feeling secure in life trust and belief in abundance 
This card signals you to pay attention to how you anchored you are in the story of your life. Trust that you will be taken care of. The world is full of limitless potential and will nourish you according to your beliefs, regardless of temporary outer conditions. You are not a victim of life. Life happens for you, not to you. Even if sometimes, if you slip sometimes into that way of thinking, if you are grounded and internally steadfast, nothing can uproot you. You can have, no, you have the ability to manifest your intentions with ease. The message here is simple. Your life is safe and secure, and your intentions are coming to fruition. All your hopes and dreams are firmly grounded and are taking root so that you can reach for the stars in your life and expand your dreams further than you can imagine. Everything in this material world is, an, <laughs> is a reflection of your interior world. That is true. As above, so below. As within, so without, right? You are an unstoppable and unshakable... <laughs> unshakable because you believe that you are abundant yeah if you believe anything it becomes true whether it's good or bad in your eyes you know i just saw 24 24 that's six six balance love harmony hmm. know that you can easily move from merely surviving to thriving when you pay attention to staying grounded. If you found yourself ungrounded in thinking, now is the time for radical trust. Growth never follows a straight line. You will manifest what you need when you need it. A tall, healthy tree doesn't need to hold onto the ground for dear life. It knows it will not fly away with the wind because its roots are deeply planted in the earth. <clears throat> believe that you are protected believe that you are stable believe that you are secure and you will be supported the universe will provide for you believe that you are worthy of abundance and the universe will provide for you okay it's literally written for you so make it happen believe in it believe in yourself because you are truly abundant and you can manifest it all this is like black and gold you are protected you are abundant and you are magnificent Believe in yourself. But it's your girl Dre and this is the Owl's Intuition. I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.